Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great today. Today we... What was that with my voice? Today we are back with another episode of Mass Effect 3. And um, we have some crew to talk to still since the last time. And I think after that, um, well, we'll think about what to do after that when we get there. How about that? <laughs> Let's get into it. Alright, here we go. AI core. Uh, let's talk to was you. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. A joker is going to have a field day with this. I can't wait to find out. No crew health issues to report. No crew health issues to report. Got it. All right, let's see. Mm. Garrus should be here. Well, at least he was. Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. Well, no. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. Aww. She's an old friend of her, not Rex. Friendship still counts for something in this war. I'm sure it will, sir. I appreciate the faith. Thank you, Gary. Yes. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so, is this the part where we shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions, or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. Oh my. I'm still interested. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't want to. Ah, <laughs> cute. That's the cute on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. The vids. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know. <laughs> Garrus, what have you been watching? Out. Not with this war. <laughs> I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross-species liaison. <laughs> Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title, along with a token task force, so I'd shut up. How'd you manage that? <laughs> Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come <laughs> over to see what all the fuss is about. Oh no. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... We're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper... Remember I took the kill shot. Something of else course. you want to talk about. All right. Yeah, I would like to know about his family because uh, I'm pretty sure his mother was alive in Mass Effect 2. You mentioned you still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Okay. Don't worry. That's stupid. I'm still going to say it, but it's stupid. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get 
just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left, and I hate being blind. Yeah. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. Eh. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Fair enough. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. Ooh. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I wonder what he said. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. Mm. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. <sighs> What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. When this war is over. I'd like to, uh, draw attention to that part. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. Maybe it could be you. Interesting. Those generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Fair. Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Your confidence is inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold the hammer. Okay. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Oh. Deal. Okay. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Got some calibrations to run. Armor piercing ammo. Nice. Ooh, that's not where I want to go. Okay, so. Um. Should we chat with Liara? See what she's got to say? You're positive you don't want to come over and talk? No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. What was that conversation about? Alliance interrogation records, Cerberus operative. 
Uh, uh. Check out these, these implants she's got jammed into her face. Shh, she's awake. Unintelligible. How do you- do you know where you are? You know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble, I'm not gonna lie. But that doesn't mean we can't work something out. If you help us, we can... Explosion. Are you okay? I'm okay, but... Holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of... Ocular flashbang? Well, shit. Is everyone in Cerberus rigged up like that? Ugh, okay. That's no fun. No upgrades to speak of. Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Mm. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Okay. Don't think we got anything else here. All right. Greetings, Commander. Hello, Glyph. How's it going? Let's see. So, we got Liara Garris Chakwas uh, on the floor. Hello. Adams, Diana, James, and Cortez. Let's go all the way down and then we can come back to the floor with the map and check out what is actually, uh, what Joker is actually thinking about this current situation going on here. Also, I need to check out something out down here. I hear it now. Oh. Oh. Did I get you? Oh, I did! <laughs> oh, what the hell do I do with you now? More little ships. That's good. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I need to go to my own cabin too hello nothing to report commander fair enough nothing here too all right allers was here i think no this is closed here then Whoa. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, Gurley is good. Sorry for your more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. Oh. Uh, I do not appreciate. <laughs> Hello, Allers. How's it going? What was that? She has got some curves. Do she we do. Need to talk, Commander? No. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay. Um, I'm assuming she's gonna want to talk to me when there's some sort of an uh, interview to take place. Would that be fair? Go to Shuttle Bay. Hey, doggo. Can I pet you? I want to pet you. I can't pet you. Oh. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Okay. James, you here? Oh, he's not doing pull-ups. That's that's a change. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. Oh my. Even more distracted. Nice try. Sorry, Lola. Okay. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? 
pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next Can't blame topic. you. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've got Maybe no. <laughs> Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. Family? You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. Gotcha. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other? Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. He's funny. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So I'm a Lola, huh? Yeah, my best friend's sister growing up was Lola. Older sister. Hot. Tough. Right. <laughs> right. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Okay. So, um... Let's see. Weapon upgrades. Procurement interface. Uh, what is the one that... Specter requisitions. Let's see. Oh, I did actually get a, get a lot of money. Rana. Defender? Oh, that's the armor. Valiant. Streamlined weapon employs a sophisticated fire control system that improves accuracy by stabilizing the barrel during targeting. Reduced capacity and rate of fire. Most soldiers find the increase in precision and quick reloading time a worthy trade-off. That could be interesting. And it's even more expensive than Widow. Huh. Okay. Heavy forest sniper rifle, the Black Widow's firepower more than compensates for its encumbrance. Right. Okay, well, I don't have a lot of money right now. But let's check out if we got anything else. Breather helmet? N7. No helmet. <laughs> Chest, casa fabrication, okay. Armax arsenal. Less health boost, but more weapon damage and headshot damage. That's cool. Less health, but melee damage. I don't really want that. And I got... Okay, got this one for more weapon damage. I, I think I want that. Uh, I don't really care about that all that much. Save and exit. Um, I need to remember to do the same thing for... For the... Mm, okay, still one. Alright. For my squad mates. Okay, uh, we are in the shuttle, so let's check out my cabin and see what we can do with the hamster. Hamster, you here? Hey, he's there! Hello? Oh, <laughs> cute. 
Okay. Well, I guess that's it. My ships are slowly returning. That's good. Okay. Now it's time to talk to Joker and Edie and see. See where they're at. Specialist trainer and Primark. Victus are also here, but Commander, we talked to Victus already. Who? Yes, please. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems, but thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. Mm. I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Okay. Of course I would do? like to help them. A Turian Evac Transport responded to their distress call. So normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. Oof. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. Wow. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Ah, I see. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. If That's this really rude. is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. Take the compliment, woman. Although I get it. Primark in the same way. Like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. A war summit we have to host since the Solarians won't even let a probing on one of their ships. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Now, the culmination of this chatting business. I'm excited. Ah, there she is. Hello, Joker. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! Fair enough. I would have baked a cake. I am right here, <laughs> Chip. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. That's cute. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there and he's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, and we might need something calibrated. I was about to say. <laughs> Commander. Okay. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Edie. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. Adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Of course not. Perhaps we should speak privately. Oh my, Joker. I'll be oh over my. Here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> Shepard. Do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I think so. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? 
I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. Mm. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. He does and that. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Do you think you should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? Yeah. When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. That's it? No questions right now? Um... Okay. I guess. Let's see, who have we not talked to? We got Victus, we got Trainer just now. Um, I should probably check my messages just in case. Commander, you have a message from Major Olenko. There you go. Ooh, 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 he's alive! Omega, come see me. From Arya, hey, hey, hey! Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Ooh. Urgent message from Hackett. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered imp important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his effort at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory on the Citadel at once. Okay, so we have two reasons to go to the Citadel. Is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages but gotten no response. With Earth's calm system out, I don't expect this will get through, either. But I heard a rumor that Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Okay. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Nuara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I'm not in good health. We should meet before circumstances forces us apart again. Thane! Ooh! I'm excited about this! Doc says I'm ready for visitors. From Caden. Hey Shepard. Through some combination of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you if I can spare- if you can spare the time. Counselor Udina offered to make me a specter. Ooh, interesting. Still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room in the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Ooh, that will be interesting if he actually goes for it. Help request. Sender blocked. Commander, my name is Jondam Bao. I'm with Special Tactics and Recon. While some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in SDNR talk, uh, took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the Reapers. If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Sincerely, John Dimbao. Okay. We have a lot of reasons to go to the Citadel now. Again, from La Aria. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You won't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub on the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Oh, God. Really? <sighs> Why is it like that all the time? 
Okay, let's see. Journal. So we have... Shrike Abyssal, Cerberus Lab, Priority Eden Prime, Priority Sirkesh, Brissom Academy, and Dr. Bryson. And also, Aria wants to see us... Uh, Caden wants to see us. A uh, Salarian dude wants to see us. Oh, man. We are very, very popular. And Thane! Thane also. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, what should we do? I'm gonna consult with my notes for a second here. Alright, so we are going to go to... <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is betraying me today. We're going to go to Eden Prime. Leave orbit, orbit of this one. So... I should try scanning it more, shouldn't I? Let's try a neighboring cluster. Cluster? System? Castellus. If I can make it over there. Okay. Let's see. Let's go over here. Ooh. I see. Okay. I found something. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit. Evasion successful. Okay. Um All right, so they can't get me right now. And they came from four sides. Uh, you know what? Let me write down that I found something in Castellus. Just so I remember. Castellus. Found something. And then we can come back to it. Could I... Go back to Trebia? Maybe? Reapers aren't following me here yet. Let's get some fuel and uh, I can try another system. Jim May. Whoa, that's a that's a big star right there. Can I not do this with you? Signal confirmed. Whoa, that is a lot of things. What are we doing here? The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Uh, yeah, please? Uh, except... I'm kind of topped up. The wreckage of a fuel depot. Okay. Well, I probably should not have investigated that then. What did you find? Ferris? Asteroid towed near the Class B Blue Giant Jamae. That's how I'm gonna say that. Judge me if you must. To serve as a terrestrial military base in a system devoid of planets, a vast array of solar collectors absorb energy from the star and beam it to receptors near the tidally locked asteroid's terminator zone. Beneath the surface, dozens of particle accelerators generate anti-protons, or starship fuel, the Reapers sent a substantial force to Jamae's system, but found that the Turians were capable and prepared to defend their Armada's fuel source. 
Warning messages say that the Reapers are still present in the system, waiting, awaiting reinforcements. At present, the Turians can still refuel, but only because they committed forces here. That could otherwise have defended Palavin. Hmm. What all did I find here? That is... What are we... I'm following it. Okay, what is it? Lost and found? War asset. Turian 79th flotilla. Nice. Okay, there's nothing else. Okay, good. This was cool. Alright, so... Reapers... Can I go back to Castellas? Maybe? I'm gonna see. Oh, nope. Never mind then. No Castellas for me. <laughs> All right, I need. You know what? Let's fuel up and then we can leave. And I'm going to scan these real quick. Not so much. Ah, uh, that does not seem to alert the Reapers. Interesting. Maybe the system with the mass relay in it does not? Does that mean it's not worth scanning? Be curious to hear about that. Alright, so. There's Reapers over there. Mmm. Rescue the students. Hades Gamma. Kite's Nest. Rothian art Artifact. Um. I need help. Uh, because I don't remember where Eden Prime is. Um, don't mind me. I will check it. There we go. Okay. Utopia. Can I scan here? It's probably useless, isn't it? Just because it, this is the system. I found something. Ooh, no. Okay. Let's see. What did we find? War asset. Prothean data files. How is the data file an asset? Okay, so... Can I just scan it randomly then? Huh, I can. Wreckage. Fuel. Alright, well, that sucks. Nothing. I'm quite fond of the scanning business. Alright, well, Eden Prime, here we go. An idyllic agrarian world was one of the first human colonies established beyond the Caron. Caron? Caron? That like the the underworld god? God? I don't think he was a god. Guard. Uh, Eden Prime's fertile biosphere drew heavy immigration from the Systems Alliance and other human organizations. 
in 2183, Eden Prime was attacked by a Geth force led by the rogue Spectre Saren Arterius. Commander Shepard, responding to the attack, encountered a Prothean beacon that warned of imminent Reaper invasion. It is thanks to this beacon and the commander's quick action that the galaxy has any chance of survival today. Although the Reapers rushed past much of the Exodus cluster in their plan to take Earth, it is clear the war has come to Eden Prime. Distress signals have jammed all available frequencies, fires burn in vast swaths across the arable land, and its once extensive monorail system is twisted metal. Cerberus has much to lose if word of their ruthless attack on the human colony gets out. What they stand to gain must be equally valuable. Well, let's find out what's going on. I have to take Edie. Uh, info. So she's got power damage plus 25. Power recharge speed 25. Shields. Recharge speed again. Power damage. Um. Let's keep this. Select. What? I get only one? Do I really get only one? Um. I guess? That's weird. Wait, Liara is selected too? Is that right? Can I go back? I haven't leveled her up yet. Did I accidentally select Liara and I did not even know? Can I redo this? Alright, let's level up Edie. It's actually not that bad if Edie comes together with Liara, but I wanted Garrus. Um, okay. Unshackled AI. Boost power damage, shield barriers, and health. Yes, please. Health and shields. Good. Uh, health and shield bonuses and power damage. Good. Let's see what else. Decoy. Distract opponents with this decoy. What does that mean? I'm going to try. Defense matrix. Reinforce armor with protective occult currents. Purge the currents to restore shields. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if I want that. But I do want this. Wait. This overload is great. So is incinerate. Uh, let's go back to this. Power damage by 20 or health and shield bonus. By 20. Attack power damage, weapon damage, shield recharge, squad mate, tech power damage, and duration by 10. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go for this because I don't want to pick up any fortify things for her. So perhaps let's do that now. She's almost leveled up too. Uh, damage good. Duration. 
I haven't tried it. I don't know if I want to commit to it yet. Let's do incinerate on you. Damage by 30 or radius. Let's do damage. Damage by additional 40 over 8. Recharge speed by 25. I don't have points for it, actually. One additional target. Damage by 30. Yeah, let's do that. Now we have Liara. With two points. And I already upgraded myself. Well... I guess we're stuck. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Unless Liara was automatically selected. The Prothean beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Eden Prime also marks Theron's first major attack with the Geth. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Hmm. I definitely remember Eden Prime. Seems like more than just three years ago. Records indicate that you lost a squad mate on Eden Prime. Yeah, Corporal Jenkins. Does returning to the colony cause unpleasant memories? I also lost a Spectre there, but I guess he's not worth mentioning? It's okay, Edie. Jenkins was a good soldier. He'd be proud of what we're doing here. I hope the motivation is effective. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but they killed everyone near the dig site. Beggars. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Is it part of the Prothean device we found on Mars? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. Don't get yourself killed. Alright everyone, get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. Good luck to us. The area appears deserted. Okay, let's do that right away. And you have warp ammo. Good. You have your decoy and incinerate. And, um... I should have checked what kind of weapon she uses. Come and on, I didn't even look at Liara's armor. This was a beautiful colony once. The yeah, I remember that. Built after Saren's attack. It is likely they will rebuild again after Cerberus is defeated. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does. Nobody does indeed. Credits are welcome. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, med kit. Th yeah. Don't really want to waste it. Processing update. We've taken more able-bodied men and women from pacified neighborhoods. The colonists generally have accepted the story that they have gone to perform tedious but safe manual labor in a Cerberus research camp on the other side of the planet, and when we increased food rations as payment for the work, most of the complaints died out. Maintain the story as long as possible, we don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there's no way they'd cooperate. Whew. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? That's the hope. I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. I hope so. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Dr. Tassoni, 
Have you ever encountered dinosaur fossils during your digs? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. No. Jokes have specific structures. That was messing with you. <laughs> okay, I love Edie. Edie is great. Alright, I think we're going this way. Aren't we? There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Come on, girls. All women team. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... Is that a Reaper? A Prothean. What? I Cerberus has recovered the corpse of a Prothean unmodified by Reaper technology. Cerberus hasn't uncovered corpses. This Prothean is alive. No. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Whoa! What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. By galactic community, you are suggesting that Protheans had a structure similar to the modern council. Yes, exactly. Their cultural and artistic expression are actually quite close to those of the ancient Asari. And given their similar interests in helping other species, it's clear that they believed in interspecies cooperation. Huh. The way you describe them, they sound a lot like the Asari. I'm certain I'm coloring their culture with my own perceptions. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Wow. That is this amazing. Could be what we need to finish the Prothean device. I hope so. If this single Prothean was sent into stasis, he could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. <sighs> yeah, is this going to be a disappointment? Damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Are we just gonna leave the pod there? Excuse there me! Alright, Cerberus. How's it going? I guess they're too far now. Uh, let's do that right away. Missed it. Centurion. Okay, shields and barriers. Can you overload it? Perhaps. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good. Very, very good. Um. Alright, you got a submachine gun. And you have another submachine gun. That's good. That's all fine. Ooh! <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Can't see him. All right, let's get moving before Good. more of them come back. I should have changed my um my sniper rifle. But I did not. Okay, let's see. 
So these are our dead colonists. That's amazing. There's so much. Oh god. Holy cannoli. I did not expect that at all. Uh, let's put a decoy, I guess. No, that's not a decoy. Never mind. Um, can I warp you? <coughs> oh, she doesn't see him. That's why. Okay. That's the only thing we can do for now. God damn it! Stasis and singularity. Okay. He's still alive. Well, he was, I guess. Okay, Edie. Damn it! Alright, so, I guess... This is where we are actually going. So I want to investigate other stuff. data. Troop deployment update. Local resistance is heavy in the south and west sections of the colony. We've pulled most of our troops from the north neighborhoods to assist. All remaining troops in the north neighborhood continue standard patrol activities to maintain the illusion of a large presence in the area. If the locals knew we were understaffed, they could do some serious damage. More intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. Good. Some salvage. Um, let's see. All right, so that is our actual target. How about over here? Oh, I can go up. That's good. Wait. Nice. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha oh, man! Turret? Can you overload it? Not really. It's frozen. Good. Oh, there's more. Fun. Woo wee. Oh my god. Oh, there you are. This is not over. Or is it? I don't know actually. Well, maybe the girls can deal with him. Ooh. Resistance information update. We've gotten word from our source within Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on our security center between uh, 2200 and 2300 tomorrow night. They're pulling in forces from across the colony. This gives us the perfect chance to destroy their leadership. Once the attack is contained, allow Dr. William Cambiata to escape, firing near-miss shots to keep it realistic. He's given us good information, and with luck, 
The locals will see him as a daring hero and the only man to escape the Cerberus trap. They might even put him in charge. Ooh. Perfect. This intel will give Eden Prime's resistance movement a real chance to push Cerberus out of their colony. Good. Ah, I should not have done that. What? What? Oh, that's the decoy! That's so cool! Oh, that's easy. Where are you? There is another. Ah, pod data is there. Okay. Um, what else can I explore? I have not been up there. There's ammo. Okay, so I've checked this out. I have not checked this out. The ladies can deal. What? Oh, he's dead. Okay, good. Wait. Oh, I thought there was a circle of something I could explore. Alright, these are sleeping quarters. They did not fare well. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold, it's somebody's home. Yep. It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties. There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. There is more pod data? I did not realize there is more than one. More salvage. That's good. Some ammo, thank you very much. Alright, give me one second. I'll be right back. I really need to use the restroom. Alright, I am back. Let's see. Um, this pod data that is here. Supposedly. Return to dark space. Then we will rise a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Okay. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Got it. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. Okay. So 
So the other part that I saw was this way. It was through the home. Actually, no, I think I can go directly over there. This way. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was totally this way. Or was it even further down? No. No, this way. Okay. The last guy that my girls killed was somewhere in this area, I think. No? Am I wrong? I guess I am. Okay. Can I just jump? It didn't hurt me. There we go. Okay, I was slightly off base. Yeah, there you go. That was the door. That they were shooting at. Can't bypass it, huh? Oh, okay, just took a while. Alright. Good to know. This is not the guy. Med kit. There it is. Interesting. So this is what I was thinking. I never looked at the husks as my people, as human, for whatever reason, even though that they are. But um, while watching that flashback, I guess, the memory, I was wondering how it felt to those poor guys to basically gun down their own people who ended up being changed by the Reapers already. Phew. That must have been horrific. Oh, good. Back. Very good. The forces are here. Okay. Can you perhaps do this to them? Ooh, wee! 
Okay, 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 never mind. I'm not doing so good. Can you... There's more people coming up. Or coming down, I suppose. Very good. Um... Okay! <laughs> Very good. And he was stuck. Well, that's encouraging. Uh, okay. Pod. Pod is up. Right? I think so. I can go through this, right? Yes. Is there more? Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Use overload on you. Perfect. Use this ammo real quick. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, he's right fucking here. Good. I lost my mouse. I got him. Somewhat. Can you burn? Is my question. Okay, he's dead. Good, good, good. I am also dying, which is not very good. <laughs> Can you warp him? Excuse me, what? Oh, I'm about to die. Did not get him. Got him now. Okay, no ammo for me. That's good. Very good. Over there? Or up above, I suppose? Do they know? I don't hear... or I don't see the guy. They must know where he is. I'll just keep going. Okay. Let's find another way across. Another way. This way? Perhaps. I have been here. Ooh. I should be helping my girls. And I'm just dilly-dallying here. Okay. 
There is another one. Here. There you are. Shoot you in the booty. You are still alive! Okay, well, we're good. For now. But the question is... Where do we go? Do we... Go back? Let's go back. To where I was hanging out. So we need to get there. And I feel like maybe going through here might help. Let's see. Maybe not. Can I get up somehow? Perhaps. No. Gosh, where do I go? Oh, such confusion. Okay, let's assess what we have here. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see now. I got you. There we go. It only took a little bit. Okay, so pot is this way. Alright, you don't want to go there. Very good. We made it to the pod. Ooh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope. Let's not fly off a bridge here. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. And in the meantime... There they are. Okay. Guardian. Let's see, can we put a decoy over there? And then perhaps warp this guy. Not enough. Very good. Mail slot. Here I come. Okay. He's coming over there. That's fine. <gasps> Woo! Jeez. Can you get him? Very good. Damn it! I need to change my sniper rifles. Oh, this is too far, isn't it? Okay, you can get him. You... can get him. Good. We done? For now? Oh, they're coming again. Okay. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I saw them boys.
Good. Um, how about you do this to him? We done? Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Good. Or set up preparations for the next wave. Um, ammo? And the life pod ended stasis mode. It should not be much longer. We should look okay. for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. We I can should. lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Okay. Oh god. Heavy mech inbound. Oh, lovely. Atlas. No, they should be good. Oh, there's more people. God damn it. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. What can we do? I can throw a grenade at you. Ah, you see me. Woo! Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Can you overload him? Good lord. Combined arms. Oh my god. You jerk. Okay. Where are you, you shithead? Both of them are dead. Very good. Very, very good. You jerk face. God damn it. I can get you, you asshole. Good. I still have there. one. You can open the life pod now. Good. Hopefully he's still alive. I don't have a lot of hope. There, you've got it. He's dying! It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Can we get him on the shuttle? <laughs> I'm not surprised. I would have reacted the same way, I think.
Don't run away. Be Don't careful. run away. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 please don't. No, don't hurt yourself. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now. Oof. God. I will be more than that. So this is him, Javik. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I've read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. Wow. So you were reading me while I was seeing our last moments. Our failure. Yeah, I agree. I don't I don't think I can count it as a complete failure, although they their people are dead, but hopefully they are going to help others to survive. Your people did everything they could. They never gave up. And I could use some of that commitment now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Of course. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. No handshaking. Can't blame him. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. Ooh, okay. Not making him feel very welcome, are you? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Definitely not making him feel welcome. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. I don't know if we can trust him, but let's try. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. He has biotics, or whatever Prothean equivalent of it is. That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. 
What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. Come on, dude. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. Please know about it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst. No. Damn it. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people, demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. And we're in this together. Right? Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Huh. Nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dried. Because you still have hope. That this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. This silence is your answer. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? <laughs> Never mind. What do you wish to know? Oh my god. Alright. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. 
So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. Hello, Grunt. Grunt. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have, and can you tell me about your religious beliefs, or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Joy kill. Studying kill your joy? history has yes, been a lifelong joy. passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Interesting. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea okay. Prothians were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. Mm. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had You fallen, saw what happened. And we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. I guess they did then, huh? What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Interesting. So they were strong enough to hold them off for so long and we are being completely demolished right from the start. Ish. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there. Built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. Mm. The bar scientists did have a research facility. Whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel was captured long before I was born. Wow. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. 
planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. I see. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Huh. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Very, very true. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Amusing? Um, is the word that you choose. The primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. <laughs> they used to eat flies. Oh my god. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. I wonder what he can say about humans then. Slam unlocked. Okay, this is Javik. This is where he's hanging out. Uh, all right, let's check out what we can... Wait, this is engineering. This is not where I want to be. Let's go to the crew deck and to the med bay. This is... is this the place? Power bonuses, okay. Massive damage with a biotic body slam. Bring down heavy armor units, shoot through light cover to hit enemies. Um... I want to do this. 5,000. Or can I buy all of them? Because I kind of want to purchase this as well. No! Damn it! Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Alright. Um. Well. I should probably talk to everyone again. since we completed this mission. Let's check this out. So, we did the Priority Eden Prime. Yeah. And leveled up. Armor piercing ammo. Let's do that. Health and armor damage by 4%. And now I can't buy anything anymore. I want to see... No, I think I like my current setup right now. But um, if it comes time to reassign my points, I think I'm going to take away the sticky grenade completely. I know it's only one point, but still, it's one more point that I can use. Sabotage... Maybe I'll keep 
Yeah, maybe I'll keep it. I haven't used it yet, but I haven't really encountered a lot of uh, mechs, I guess. All right. Commander, well, you may want to check in on shuttle pilot Cortez down in the armory. Really? Why? No. Shoot. Wrong place. Don't Hello. You dare. They're everywhere. You just get taken to. I can't just sit here doing nothing. Stay with me. Run. Get out of there. You can make it. No, I can't, Steve. But you can. Promise me. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. I love you. But I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, oh, no. Don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. No. You were talking with him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Wow. That poor guy. Well, I think I'm going to end this here. Uh, this seems like a decent stopping point. And uh, I will start the next episode with talking to every one of my crew members and uh, the doggo. I'm going to pretend that I can pet it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to um, lighten the atmosphere a little bit, even though it's very, very difficult. Oh, hello. There was a dog right in front of my face. So uh, this mission has been a, a surprise to me. I did not expect at all that we would ever find a uh, an untouched, unaltered uh, Prothean, let alone a live one. So it's interesting. And I would like to talk to him more because his initial reaction to seeing Asari and humans in our current state has been very curious. And uh, apparently Salarians used to eat flies, so... There's that. Uh, if I ever encounter Morden again, I would love to see the interaction between the two of them. So, hopefully, um, hopefully we can do that. But uh, right now, I have a number of missions on the Citadel, or not missions really, but um, destinations, I guess, that I need to go to on the Citadel. I am anxious to go say hi to Caton and see how he's doing. And uh, apparently there's also Arya and Thane that I can uh, say hi to as well. And uh, I don't know about Arya, but I'm hoping that Thane can join my crew again. That would be really nice. And uh, my eventual hope is that I can gather all of the people that I used to work with in the previous games and kind of assemble the crew from there. So uh, we'll see how this develops. 
I am excited to uh, continue and um, as was advised previously, my tissue box is nearby. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode with me and this dog cutting my camera <laughs> again. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.